First, let's look at the VXS sensor and what we get in the box. Two blue top screws for mounting, the user manual, the masking templates, which we'll look at in this video, and the VXS sensor itself. To take the sensor apart, there is a blue clip at the top of the sensor. Use a flat-headed screwdriver to unlock by twisting this seal. Any part of the sensor which is blue can be adjusted. With the VXS sensor, you can angle the detector left and right. You are supplied five area masking templates. Each template has a number on. The number matches the detection pattern you can find in the user manual. To remove the lens from masking, we need to remove the lens retainer from the sensor. This is done by unclipping the four clips in each corner of that retainer. Once the lens retainer is unclipped and removed, the lens simply pops out. Once you have selected the template you require, lay the lens on top of that template, aligning the circles and the rectangle. This ensures that you have the template the correct way up for that lens. When choosing your template, Refer to the user manual. You'll be able to see which template corresponds with which masking pattern. Now carefully peel off the masking seal and stick precisely onto the lens. If you're using a sensor in an area that has numerous objects in the field of view, you can choose to individually mask them out. Template 1 provides 14 individual masking seals for doing so. After you've finished masking, you need to put the sensor back together. The lens has two circles and a rectangle that align perfectly with those on the sensor. This ensures the lens is the correct way up and fixed in the correct position and will not move.
Once you are happy with the lens being in the correct position, reinsert the retainer. Clip the four corner clips in and just check to make sure it's watertight. We're now going to have a look at the other products in the VX range, the Infinity. Let's just have a look what's in the box. You get the user manual, you're supplied the masking templates, and of course, you then get the VXI sensor. To take the product apart, you must unscrew the screw at the bottom of the sensor. This releases the front of the unit from the main component. Like the VXS, the VXI is adjustable left and right. To take the VXI lens out, it's slightly different to the VXS. To take the retainer out, it slides up to unclip. Now that we have the lens out of the sensor and we've chosen our masking template, the process is much the same. Align the lens with the template using the circles and the rectangle to ensure that this is the correct way up and then peel off the template. Once the template is peeled off, carefully stick this to the lens ensuring it is in the correct position.